here. That means Ponyville is next up for winter. everything. Does Tank look all right to you? <sighs> well, he does seem to be moving a little slowly. I know, right? And he looks kind of sleepy. Totally! Just like he always does. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Well, I suppose his heartbeat could be a teensy weensy. A bit slower than usual. Okay, so give him a vitamin or something. I don't think he needs that. Maybe we're just staying up too late. Uh, too many daring do stories. Well, that's not it either. Well, what's wrong with him then? Nothing. He's perfectly fine. <sighs> he's just going to hibernate. You do realize he's not a bear, right? <laughs> when the weather grows cold and less food is available, many animals hibernate to conserve energy. It's like taking a really long nap during winter. And then they wake up in spring. And see, even tortoises do it. When the time comes, Tank will leave and dig into the ground. <sighs> but don't worry. He'll reappear when the spring sun warms the ground back up. Come on! Tortoises don't hibernate. Some pony put that picture in there as a joke. It's not a joke. Well, then your book must be wrong. Rainbow Dash, Tank needs to hibernate. It's healthy for him, just like sleeping is healthy for us. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, thanks. Come on, Tank. Where are you going? To get a second opinion from a real reptile expert. I told you, Rainbow Dash, I'm a dragon! Come on! You're practically twins! I'm purple? But if you don't have to hibernate, why should Tank? Because he's a tortoise, and I'm a dragon! Same family, though, right? No! I'll take that as a yes. Ugh, look, if Fluttershy says tortoises hibernate, then I guarantee tortoises hibernate. Well, what would you know? You're a dragon. No pony knows you like I do, Tank. All you need is some hard work to get the old blood pumping. Come on! Chock full of snowflakes. 
we're gonna have such a killer time in the snow tank. Tank? Tank? Aww! Look at that cute little tanky, all snuggly, wuggly, getting ready to hibernate. Don't say that word! Which one? Snuggly? Wuggly? Tanky? Hibernate? That yeah, one! Well, I was just saying how cute it is! If you think hiber... You know, that napping thing is so cute, why don't you go do it? Somewhere far away from here! What are you looking at? Pinkie Pie and I are just having a conversation! Look, Rainbow Dash, we all know how upset you are about Tank Hyper... Shh! Don't say that word! That's what started this all! We know how upset you are about Tank, but you shouldn't take your anger out on your friends. Who said anything about anger? I didn't say anything about anger! I'm not upset, and I am not angry! Do I look angry? Come on, Tank! Let's get out of here! I need you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Not sleepy-eyed and scaly-tailed. Which is exactly what you are. But get up anyway! <laughs> you can't, Hybert! You know, what about all the primo things we're gonna do together this winter? Building snow ponies, starting snowball fights, sipping hot cider by the fire. Don't you want to do those things with me? Think, Rainbow Dash, think. Tank's only hibernating because it's cold, right? Well, I'd rather have him awake in the heat than asleep in the cold. I'll just have to stop winter! So, where do these clouds go? Over by clear skies. But there's clear skies everywhere. Yo, clear skies right here. But there's clear skies over there, too. That's open skies. There's open skies everywhere. I'm not everywhere. I'm right here. So, your open skies and your clear skies, then what's all that? Open, open clear, clear skies. skies. Hey, where did our fluffy clouds go? Fluffy clouds? He's over there. <laughs> Stopping winter is gonna be a breeze.
comes the next shipment. Move those clouds over. <sighs> for every hoof step back, they go three hoof steps forward. What am I gonna do? in Ponyville, maybe I can stop it at the source. Lab. We're in, Tank. Now we just gotta figure out a way to shut it down. Sabotage snowflakes? I think we gotta go bigger than that. Wait here. Are you all right? Oh, no. Hmm. 
Knock, knock! How are you feeling, Rainbow Dash? Whatever. The poor thing looks so sad. Just what are we going to do? I don't know what we can do. Buck up, Sugar Cube. You just ain't yourself these days. Whatever. Oh, how can I say this tactfully? You've lost your sparkle, Rainbow Dash. I hate to say this, but, well, you've become a party pooper. Didn't you hear me? I said, whatever. I don't know if you're here to cheer me up or what, but I'm fine. Let me handle this. Rainbow Dash, your winter is going to be petless. <laughs> Whatever did you do that for? Because she'll never get past this until she lets it all out. Uh, it's okay. Tank will come back in a few months. Months? <laughs> I don't want him to go. All right, all right. There, there. Nice going, Buttershy. How do we get her to stop? She's got to be about done now. Can't be too much left in there. <laughs> Feeling better? <laughs> oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> I can't bear to see Fluttershy cry. It's just heart-wrenching. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> Look, every pony, I know how hard it is to say goodbye. I'm mostly sad because you're not sad. What? Me? What about Applejack? Applejack cries on the inside, Twilight! It's true. It's all right, Fluttershy. It's all right. You think she's done or just getting a third wind? I don't know. Rainbow Dash, are you okay? I think so. I feel better. Really, I do. Thanks, every pony. I don't know what I'd do without you. Or him. Oh, Tank. I'm sure gonna miss you. We're starting winter with a bang. The fun's come early. Yeehaw! You think we can mess up winter every year? It's way less work. Uh, I don't think Rainbow Dash could handle it. Riding that entire season from Cloudsdale to Ponyville was pretty awesome. <sighs> I thought you guys might like to say goodbye to Tank. He's ready to hibernate. <gasps> You're using the She's hibernating, I'm gonna throw him the biggest welcome home party ever! Or wait, should it be a welcome above ground party? Or a happy wake up party? Maybe an it's about time party! And I'll design him a very special suit just for the occasion, whichever one it ends up being. I'm glad you're feeling a little better, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, me too. You really want to do this hibernating thing, huh? Goodbye, Tank. Oh, see you later, little fella. Tank. Goodbye, Tank. We'll miss you. Well, 
Ready for some winter fun? Uh, I'm gonna hang here and read to him a bit. That little guy can never get to sleep without a bedtime story. Uh, I'll be right there. You, Opal. Uh, every other day he's here like clockwork, but not today. Who could possibly be holding him up? Strawberry, cinnamon, cilantro, salutations! <laughs> what? What indeed? I bet you're wondering what weren't such a welcome. Well, that welcome is warranted by a pony that whisked up a warm batch of strawberry, cinnamon, cilantro cupcakes. <laughs> that strangely sickening flavor combination sounds just as bad as it tastes. <laughs> Some. After that visually descriptive and disturbing endorsement, I'll pass. Oh, I almost forgot! I have this letter for you, Rarity. The post pony was going to deliver it, but after a strawberry cinnamon cilantro cupcake, he was feeling kind of queasy. And since I was heading over anyway, I figured I could do it for him. There you go! What's this say? I got it! I've been holding out for the perfect location and it finally became available. So now I can fulfill my dream of opening a boutique in Cantonot! Ah, I'm so excited! I think I'm gonna lose my cupcakes! <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Rarity's such a savvy business pony. I'm so impressed she used the huge bonus she earned making the costumes for Sapphire Shore's equestrian-wide tour to open the second boutique. Oh, hey, wow. I take it from your reaction that you like the boutique? It's lovely. Gosh, Rarity, I know hard work when I see it, and it looks like you worked your hooves to the nub. I don't know. Those hooves don't look nubby. They look scrubbied and buffied and pettied. Well, despite my nubby, scrubby, buffy pony petty, I actually have been working very hard. However, I never could have gotten the boutique ready for the grand opening without the help of my new manager, Sassy Saddles. First, my buttons, Rarity. The ponies from Ponyville. Savage. <laughs> I knew I needed a manager for Cantalot Carousel, so when Sassy showed me her resume and I saw that she worked in all of the finest boutiques in Cantalot, I hired her right on the spot. I then laid out this plan, or pattern, as we say in the fashion biz, for Cantalot Carousel, so that Rarity's boutique will be a guaranteed success and those doors will never, ever, ever close! Wow, Sassy, your attention to detail is truly impressive. I've already put a pin in the first piece of the pattern. Beautify the boutique. But next was the very crucial pattern piece, marketing to the mares. Turns out that every pony here loves royalty. So I created a collection that beautifully revolves around the royal element of Cantalot. And it just so happens there's a hot new princess in Equestria. In every poll Sassy Saddles took, you were the most popular princess. Coincidentally, one of my gowns is inspired by the window in Cantalot Castle commemorating your coronation. 
Now that's a fancy frock. While I've always prided myself on paying attention to detail, I've taken my latest collection to a whole new level with Rarity's Rules of TLC. Judging by this baby, TLC stands for Tasty Licorice Candy. TLC stands for Time, Love, and Couture. And while I do agree that this dress has potential, I've not had enough time to give it enough love to become couture. But the rest of the gowns in tonight's line have met Rarity's rules and are ready to be presented. My marketing research also confirmed that customers that viewed some pony famous wearing a gown wished to own that gown for themselves. I call this piece of the pattern celebrity status. So, Twilight, we were wondering if perhaps you might possibly wear this tonight? If being a princess and wearing that dress can help your boutique in any way, then I say... Stick a pin in it. It's done. All right, every pony. Let's set the stage. Ever since I was a little filly, all I've ever wanted was to own a boutique here in Canterlot. Some pony pinch me. I'm about to open the doors to that very boutique. Welcome to the grand opening of Canterlot Carousel. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so happy. That to... sassy totally stepped on your hooves, Rarity. Oh no! Did she mess up that nice pony patty? Oh, okay. Phew. Oh, I don't think she meant to. Rarity, are you ready to reveal the collection? Is she sure she doesn't want to do it herself? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Fluttershy, could you help Twilight get ready? Oh, certainly. Fillies and gentle colts, I am designer and couturier Rarity. I would like to welcome you again <laughs> to the grand opening of Canterlot Carousel. And I'm thrilled that you're here to see my newest collection inspired by this regal city. plate of Cosmere magazine. I'm so honored that Cosmere was able to do a piece on the grand opening of my boutique. Well, when Sassy saddles Carl saying she's found the latest and greatest in fashion, we hightail without fail. Now tell me all about your latest collection. Oh, uh, it's called Rarity's Royal Regalia. <gasps> Royally rated! My favorite part of being a designer is finding my inspiration, and that really wasn't difficult when it came to Canterlot. Everywhere I look, the royal city just spoke to me. I call it inspiration. Genius! Simply genius! I spent hours by the lily pond on the castle grounds, which inspired this gown, Water Filly. Oh, the whimsy! Watching Celestia raise the sun each morning literally lit up my day. This is tripping the light. Fantastic! <laughs> and of course, Luna raising the moon guided me to sleep. I call this over the moon. Well, I certainly am. <laughs> and for our finale, I have something very special. I was inspired by the stained glass window created in honor of Princess Twilight. So I call this the rain in stain. Because the dress is inspired by the stained glass window of a rainy princess! <gasps> yes! Well, I think the rain in stain is too difficult to explain. <laughs> Especially for the signature piece of a collection. But I rather like the... Phillies and gentle goats, I, Sassy Saddles, am pleased to introduce the grand finale of the grand opening of Rarity's Royal Regalia. The Princess Dress! Every pony, please follow me, and you can all place your orders for the princess dress. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Rarity, I want to be the first pony to congratulate you. And the princess dress has just guaranteed Canterlot Carousel success. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, 
Rarity's royal regalia is amazing, and every pony seemed to love the princess dress. You bet your saddle they did. Rarity now has 100 orders for her signature gown. But, but, but 100 orders? All at one time? According to my pattern, the next piece is the success of the signature dress. So I do not see the problem. Uh. Cupcake! <clears throat> First of all, sassy saddles, I would have appreciated getting to name the final gown from my collection myself. <laughs> my research shows that your Rain in Stain name was a play on words that was both very confusing and quite unappealing. <laughs> While I see your point, we should have discussed it prior to the grand opening, Sassy. My only goal is for Cantalot Carousel to succeed. That's why I changed the name, and that is why I took all those orders for the princess dress. But, but receiving orders for 100 dresses in one day, it, it, it's just too much too soon. Are you actually saying we should cancel these orders? Well, but, but, no, no, Sassy. Promises were made, and, and I shall sew my very best to provide each and every pony a princess dress full of TLC. Oh, thank you, Rarity. Thank you. <sighs> Oh, satin and silk, Rarity. Are you sure you don't want your friends to help you make the dresses? No, Sassy. These orders are my responsibility. All I have to do is stick to my plan so I can deliver each and every princess dress in keeping with my rules of rarity. Guaranteed quality, this I can assure. For each and every dress, I'm bound to give finesse with time, love, and couture. My favorite moments when a pony sees it that special gown that she. this princess dress? I'll take care of her. You keep working. Uh, actually, I'd love to see her reaction to this particular dress. Paisley and Poplin Rarity, look at all the orders you still have to finish. And you want to take a break? Now? Whoa, it's just... I made some really lovely changes to this dress. You did what? But every princess dress is supposed to be exactly the same. Yes, yes, I know. 
But these gems just spoke to me and... Fine. Go see her reaction. Hello, and welcome to Cancelot Carousel. I'm so pleased to present to you your princess dress, finally! I've been simply desperate to get this ever since I saw Princess Twilight wearing it at your... Wait a minute. There's something different. Well, as an artiste, I did take the liberty to change a few minor details. I... <laughs> I saw these gems glistening in the light, and they just spoke to me. Aren't they lovely and so unique? <sighs> they're fine, but they're not what I ordered, are they? Uh, no. No, they're not. I want the dress to be exactly like the one Princess Twilight wore. Understand? Yes. Yeah, yes, of course. The rules of rarity once stood for something. But now it feels just like some factory. Now every dress I make, with every flaw and mistake, oh, how it makes my heart, my heart just Spectacular. And I have a special surprise for you. The latest issue of Cosmere magazine just hit the stands. Cantalot's newest rising star. And in the hour since the magazine's come out, we've gotten another hundred new orders for the princess dress. One hundred more princess dresses? I'm the Cosmere cover pony. I have the most successful shop in Cantalot. I've gotten everything I ever wanted, but I'm miserable. <laughs> How could you possibly be miserable? My pattern is perfect. Cosmere cover pony, done! You have your signature gown, the princess dress of success. I don't want to make another hundred princess dresses. I have a piece for that. Assemble the assembly line. You'll never have to sew again. What? No! Yes! Then the Candlelot Carousel never closes, and Sassy Saddle's Boutique succeeds! Stop! This is not your boutique! And if this is what success in Candlelot looks like, I want no part of it! Now, make up flyers for a going out of business sale! I'm closing Candlelot Carousel! What? No! Oh, you can't, Rarity! I I've worked too hard to make this a success! I can't be a part of another failed boutique! Oh, don't you look lovely! Nice to see you out here again! Seems Sassy Saddles isn't rushing to open the door this time. Hmm. Welcome to the going out of business sale of Canterlot Carousel. Oh, no! Oh, no! You oh, big oh, big oh, oh, oh. Hey, is this princess dress on sale? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The princess dress has been discontinued. But there are plenty of other lovely dresses on sale today. Whoa, this dress completely speaks to my soul. Can I try it on? Certainly. The dressing area is right back there. <laughs> this is the most amazing of amazing dresses. Just looking at it brightens my day. And I'm sure you'll feel even brighter once you try it on. Do you still have this Inspire Asian dress that's in the new issue of Cosmere? Oh, yes, I do. It's, it's right here. That's in the belfry. I have to try it on. Whoa, this dress makes me feel like a princess. And this dress makes me feel like a princess. This gown is quite beautiful, but it totally clashes with my complexion. Hmm. Perhaps you'd be even more taken with this one. It was inspired by the fountain in the Canterlot Castle Garden. I call it the Fountain of Truth. It's exactly 
exactly what I've been dreaming of. Oh, well then I'll finish it, and the gown shall be yours. How can I have forgotten? This is what I've been dreaming about. My favorite moments when a pony sees it. That special gown that she just adores. That pony's now in style. My heart looks over. Well, oh yes, it makes my heart, my heart just so. Attention, every pony. Cantalot Carousel will not be closing. But this stuff's still on sale, right? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Oh, Rarity, I'm so sorry. I focused on that one dress, and the rest of Rarity's royal regalia paid the price. Well, so did the princess dress. The more I sewed, the more each dress lost its time, love, and couture, becoming terrible, lackluster, and common. I think I finally understand the rules of Rarity, and we'll apply them at my next job. I beg your pardon? The rules of rarity are only to be applied at Candelot Carousel. Which is why you must continue to manage the boutique while I'm in Ponyville. Ponyville? Oh, yes, I'll come to Candelot with new designs and to see the customers, of course. But Ponyville was always going to be my home base. <gasps> Bobbins and Bodkins, Rarity! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! And I promise to run everything following your rules. I would expect nothing less. Oh my gosh, a fail! Do you have that prince down thrills? No! <laughs> <laughs> Pinkie Pie. This is your singing telegram. I hope we find you well. You're invited to a party because we think you're really swell. Got me turning one year old to so help us celebrate. The cake will be delicious, the festivities first rate. There will be games and dancing, pop for apples, cut a rug. And when the party's over, we'll gather around for a group hug. No need to bring a gift, being there will be enough. Birthdays mean having fun with friends, not getting lots of stuff. It won't be the same without you, so we hope that you say yes. So please, oh please, RSVP and come and be our guest. Next time I think I'll just pass out written invitations. My little pony, my little pony, ah. Friendship could be my little pony. until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have my Do you know you're all my very best friends? Pie? Had it. Just wanted to tell you how happy I am that you can make it to Gummy's party. How are you kidding? I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Me neither. When Pinkie Pie throws a party, I am there. Ta-da! Aw, just a boring old apple. Don't worry, there are plenty of other surprises in there. <clears throat> what kind of surprises? I can't tell you that, silly. Then it wouldn't be a surprise. <clears throat> <laughs> this punch is simply divine. Is this the same recipe you used for your spring has sprung party? Nope, something new. It's Gummy's favorite. Mm. Always throw the best part. 
parties, Pinkie Pie. They're always the best parties because my best friends are always there. Yeah! Come on, everybody! Gummy wants to dance! Go, Gummy! It's a birthday! Go, Gummy! It's a birthday! woo -wee. I am late. I haven't danced that much since, well, since your last party. Thanks again for the invite. See you later, birthday alligator. Bravo for hosting yet another delightful soiree. It's been lovely. You sure you don't want to stay? There's still some cake left. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Great party, though. We should do this again soon. <gasps> we should do this again soon! It's soon! Pardon me? You said we should have another party soon, and it's soon! Here's your invitation! You're invited to Gummy's after birthday party this afternoon at 3 o'clock. All our bestest friends are invited, and there's gonna be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch! This afternoon? As in this afternoon, this afternoon? Yes, indeedy! Oh, gosh. I wish I could make it, but I've gotten a bit behind in my studies. I've really got to hit the books. I understand. Your studies come first. But don't worry. We'll be sure to save you some cake. Please do. Oh, and Twilight, you shouldn't hit the books. You should really just read them. I'll keep that in mind. Huh? Oh, hi, Pinkie Pie. What brings you around these parts? Who's ready to shake their who thing? It's an invitation to Gummy's after birthday party this afternoon. There's gonna be dancing and games and cake and ice cream and punch. This afternoon? As in this afternoon, this afternoon? That's funny. That's just what Twilight said. And the answer is yes. It's this afternoon. Oh, uh, well, I, I, uh, I don't think I can make it because uh, I have to, uh, uh, you know what? I, uh, pick apples. Yep, apples. Because that's what we do with the apples. We, uh, Pick him. <laughs> Okie dokie wokie. A party is still a party, even if there are only three guests. <sighs> Anything else I can do for you, most beautiful one? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you could take a bath. How do I put this delicately? You smell like a rotten apple core that's been wrapped in moldy hay and dipped in dragon perspiration. <sighs> Ooh, love the new hat. Very modern. What's the occasion? Gummy's after birthday party is this afternoon. I'm delivering the invitations. The party is this afternoon? As in, this afternoon, this afternoon. It's so strange. Every pony keeps saying that. Oh, do they? I know it's short notice, but we had such a great time at his birthday party, I thought we could have even more fun at his after birthday party. And I'm sure that we would, but I'm going to have to decline. I have to wash my hair. Don't be silly. Your hair doesn't look dirty. It doesn't? Nope. See? <laughs> dirty. I have to go. Huh. No Twilight, no Applejack, no Rarity. Oh well, a party is still a party, even with only two guests. This afternoon? As in... Yes! As in this afternoon, this afternoon. Oh man, we'd love to, but we're house-sitting this afternoon. <sighs> Both of you? It's a, a big house. Uh, look at the time. We'd really better get going. What? <gasps> Maybe I could bring you some after birthday cake and ice cream. Who are you house-sitting for? Harry. Harry? Yeah, I don't think you know him. That's strange. I know just about every pony around here. He's a bear. A bear? Yep, he's a bear, all right. And he'll be pretty upset if we don't get over to his house soon. <laughs> what? There's a bear around here who lives in a house? It's uh, really more of a cave. But he's fixed the place up so much it feels like a house. 
And uh, he wants us to look after his house, uh, cave, while he's uh, at the beach. He's vacationing at the beach? Yep, he loves to. Collect Play seashells. Beach volleyball. Play beach Collect volleyball. seashells. Collect volleyball. Play seashells. Gotta go. Something strange is definitely going on around here, Gummy. Sure, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy had to house it for that vacationing bear, but what are the chances all my other friends would have plans this afternoon, too? Rarity has to wash her hair, Applejack has to pick apples, Twilight is behind on her studies and has to hit the books. The more I think about it, the more those are starting to sound like... <gasps> excuses! That doesn't look like studying or hitting. Oh, you must be here for... Shh! Is Pinkie Pie around? Oh, I don't think so. Good. I don't want her to know anything about this. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. But we're friends. What wouldn't Twilight want me to know anything about? She's coming back. There you go. Thanks. And remember, not a word to Pinkie Pie. Hey, what's with the tin can? the sweet shop, did she? I don't think so. Oh, good. I'd hate for her to ruin everything. Me too. She was planning on throwing an after-birthday party today? I'm just glad I was able to come up with an excuse for why I couldn't be there. Me too. This is obviously going to be so much better. As long as we keep her from finding out about it, it will. See you later. Every pony loved my parties. Hi, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> uh oh. Rainbow Dad, wait! <sighs> Where are you going? No, uh, I mean, yes, I mean, you can't come in here. Rainbow Dash just went in there. Oh, well, she was just bringing in some supplies. Yep, supplies for the renovation, fixing up the whole thing, top to bottom. Uh, lots of construction going on in there right now. You heard her? Construction. <laughs> Uh. 
Yep. Construction. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Okie dokie loki. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Something they don't want me to know about. Well, I'm gonna know about it. I'm gonna know about it big time. And I know just who's gonna tell me all about it. Tell me all about it big time! Wow, nice spread. It's all yours, Spike. All you have to do is talk. That's it? Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, beautiful weather we're having, eh? I love a sunny spring day, don't you? The birds chirping, and flowers blooming. No, no, no. Talk about our friends. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, there's Twilight Sparkle. She's a unicorn. Good with magic. Real brainiac. And then you got Rarity. Total knockout. Twilight seems to think I don't have a chance with her, but eh, what does she know? Let's see. There's there's Fluttershy, a Pegasus afraid of heights. <laughs> What's up with that? No, you're not understanding me. I want you to confess. Confess? Confess! I'm the one who spilled juice all over Twilight's copy of Magical Mysteries and Practical Potions! And? And I'm the one who used up all the hot water in Ponyville yesterday when I took a seven-hour bubble bath. And? And sometimes, when no one's around, I do this. Looking good, Spike, looking real good. No, 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 no! Well, what do you want to hear? Uh, tell me what you want me to say and I'll say it! Tell me that my friends are all lying to me and avoiding me because they don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore! <sighs> your friends are all lying to you and avoiding you because they don't like your parties and they don't want to be your friends anymore! Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! <laughs> oh no! My friends don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends! So... Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for coming. It means so much to Gummy. Could I have some more punch? Well, of course you can have some more punch, Mr. Turnip. This is one great party. You really outdone yourself. Why, thank you, Rocky. I'm having a delightful time as well. I'm so glad, Sir Lancelot. My diet's got my alpha and that's our slice of cake. Anything for you, Madame LaFlower. I'm just glad none of them ponies showed up. Oh, they're not so bad. Not so bad? Police! They're a bunch of losers. Come on now. Losers might be a little strong, don't you think? After the way they treated you, I say losers isn't strong enough. Well, it was pretty rude. Pretty rude? It was downright despicable! It was, wasn't it? If I were you, I wouldn't speak to them ever again. You know what? I'm not going to speak to them ever again. And I'm not going to invite them to another party as long as I live. They don't deserve to be invited to my parties. Not after the way they've been acting. These speak of our losers. Yes, that's right. Well done. Yeah, you show them. Who could that be? Hey there, Pinkie Pie. Sorry I was in such a rush earlier. Had some place to be and couldn't slow down and say hello. You know how it goes. I don't know how it goes, all right. Yeah. So why don't you come with me over to Sweet Apple Acres? No, thanks. I'm spending time with my real friends. Isn't that right, Madame the Flower? No, that is correct, Madame. Uh, Pinkie Pie? Another slice of cake, Sir Lancelot? I'd love one. All righty. What do you say we get on out of Creepy Town and head over to Applejack's? She's not going anywhere. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonderful time right here. 
You should really just come with me. You heard the lady. She ain't going nowhere, chump. Who are you calling a chump, chump? Oh, that's it. Party's <laughs> over. Come on, Pinkie Pie. No. Pinkie Pie, let's go. I said no. <laughs> you <laughs> have to come with me. No. I. <laughs> Oh, you want to do this the hard way? We'll do this the hard way. We're here. Surprise! I really thought she'd be more excited. Excited? Excited? Why would I be excited to attend my own farewell party? Farewell party? Yes! You don't like me anymore, so you decided to take me out of the group and throw a great big party to celebrate! A farewell to Pinkie Pie party! Why in the world would you think we didn't like you anymore, Sugar Cube? Why? 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 Because you've been lying to me and avoiding me all day! That's why! Uh, yeah, because we wanted your party to be a surprise. We've been planning this party for such a long time, we had to make excuses for why we couldn't attend Gummy's party so that we could get everything ready for yours. If this is a farewell party, why does the cake I picked up from Sugar Cube Corner say, Happy Birthday Pinkie Pie? It's my birthday! Oh, how could I have forgotten my own birthday? <sighs> and you like me so much you decide to throw me a surprise party! That's what we've been trying to tell you, darling. You girls are the best friends ever! How could I have ever doubted you? It's okay, Pinkie Pie. It could have happened to any of us. Yes, <laughs> don't worry yeah. about it. I'm just glad I haven't been replaced by a bucket of turnips. Huh? You don't want to know. All right, girls, enough of this gabbing. Let's party! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I am writing to you from the most delightful party. I am not only having a great time with my friends, but also was given the opportunity to learn a valuable lesson about friendship. Always expect the best from your friends and never assume the worst. Rest assured that a good friend always has your best interests at heart. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. You girls wouldn't mind if we celebrated Gummy's after birthday party too, would you? His party was cut short and he's pretty upset about it. Oh, oh it was a yeah. 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 Let's have a party for Gummy. <laughs>